let us now look at wildlife my personal favorite genre and let me help you get the right settings for your camera with the various options available so let's first go ahead and make sure i reset the whole camera so that we start from scratch and not take up the previous street photography settings so reset the device and let's start from scratch now okay now when it comes to wildlife photography i have already covered the action photography part or uh, where there is real action happening i have covered that but that said even in wildlife photography there's always movement now uh, wildlife photography is such a genre where it's very difficult to predict as to what may happen or what kind of action will happen and from which your subjects will come so a lot of parameters cannot be fixed that said so far whatever has worked well for me let me give you my recommended settings for that file format raw is what i would recommend uncompressed is the format rest everything keep it to the default no change here so long exposure noise reduction keep it off uh, keep it to the default which is on color space keep it to adobe just in case you use jpeg at any place that's everything default dry mode so dry mode always for me is high speed plus so uh, i use the sony alpha 9 alpha 9 mark 2 and i shoot at 20 frames per second most of the time or probably all the time so high plus for capturing wildlife is always what i would recommend and what i use rest everything everything is the default provided by the camera again page 4 default focus mode so focus mode always is auto focus continuous because i want to ensure i always do the continuous tracking of the subject even any kind of light movement which keeps happening now this one comes handy here since i use auto focus continuous so the priority is set so how do you want your camera to behave for auto focusing generally my recommendation is between release and balance emphasis and the balance emphasis in sony it works very well so i would recommend that you go with balance emphasis but depending on what lens you are using for whatever reason in case if your auto focusing uh, is a little slow and the moment you press the shutter list button to trip the shutter if it doesn't work the camera still tries to achieve auto focus that if you ever face that kind of a situation then come here and move it to release so always remember this particular option if you face issues with auto focusing and then you feel that you have achieved focus on the subject but still when you press the shutter it did not click this is responsible for that come and change it to to release so this is one change i would recommend now focus area again it is very difficult to give one standard recommendation but in my case for wildlife photography the one which has worked really well so far is the tracking expand flexible spot so the tracking what it does as we have seen it locks the subject the focus point on the subject and wherever whatever movement happens it continuously tracks so i have got almost like close to 100% of result sharp focused frames sharp focused images and it has never failed me so far so this is the setting what i use majority of the time go with this even with respect to composition also you can play around a lot this is my recommended setting for wildlife photography next other things keep everything the default and uh, of course i oops go back so focus setting it shows as wide because i did not select it I selected it now. Cool. It's the tracking. So AF2 keep everything here uh, to the default. Don't make any changes unless unless you are trying to shoot uh, any of your subjects animals which are static, stationary, and a little close. So the tendency is where you are able to see the eye of the subject properly. In that case, you come over to the face eye detection. Keep the priority the uh, auto focus to on. subject detection has to be animal because it's wildlife and uh, the right left eye doesn't make sense for the animal eye movement then the face eye frame display keep it to on so obviously like which where you're focusing the frame it will show up animal eye display also keep it on so if you're doing wildlife photography this is something which you have to keep in mind in case you're shooting animals at close distance otherwise always keep this off 
otherwise what will happen even in normal situation the camera will try to find the eye of the subject okay so that you have to be a little careful so as i said in my case i use the autofocus tracking all the time okay rest everything else in this keep it to the default af3 again uh, none of these things apply keep it to the default provided by the camera even over here everything auto focusing for also everything keep it to what the camera default says exposure obviously like is something which you have to arrive in the field based on so many criterias and so there is no standard setting here as such now the next one is metering mode in my case i generally use multi metering for all my wildlife shots so that's pretty much it of course face priority if you see it is turned off because the animal thing you have kept it on it's not human you are tracking basically animal if you can recollect next exposure 2 uh, nothing over here keep everything to the standard flash no flash photography for wildlife white balance go with what you want to give in the field priority set keep it to standard dr doesn't make sense rest everything raw shooting doesn't make sense page 13 keep it to the default provided by the camera focus assist here again everything keep it to the default provided by the camera no changes then shooting assist again nothing over here keep it to the default majorly it's the auto focusing which is important for wildlife so movie nothing so shutter uh, silent shooting yes so depending since it's wildlife we are talking about my recommendation is keep it to on silent shooting keep it to on so that there's not much disturbance to your subjects with the sound of the shutter even though the sound of the shutter is very very low volume in case of the sony equipment but still a recommended setting uh, release without card is disabled you don't want to start writing to the camera thinking you have an sd card and it's not there rest everything is default this is default then the display review button display button keep it to the default of the camera be it in the viewfinder uh, obviously like whatever uh, monitor it shows the various default setting let just go with what the camera gives both for the monitor as well as for the viewfinder shooting and yes the grid line if it is off make sure you to use the rule of thirds the three by three grid for better composition aspects so that is my recommendation rest everything with the default the next screen screen 8 page 8 live view display yes keep the setting effect on because obviously in the field you want to make sure whatever settings white balance exposure triangle exposure compensation whatever settings you put you want to see the change on the image in real time so that whatever is the end result of the image you are able to see it in the screen right away and don't realize that you made a mistake with exposure later so personal recommendation is to keep this always on rest everything is the default provided by the camera custom operation one i have a separate chapter within this course where i have talked in detail on how to customize your camera and assign the frequently accessed menu items or the frequently accessed camera settings to your custom buttons so how to assign it please go through that particular chapter and then configure your camera for wildlife with all the frequently used menu items same thing applies to your function menu set at as well a separate chapter within this course go through that in detail rest everything keep it to the camera default customs operation 2 here no changes go with the camera default audio signal is something you may want to keep in mind even though like uh, the overall sound of the electronic shutter is very very low but still if you feel that that sound also may disturb your subject turn it off the audio signal turn it off but it will be extremely silent shooting chances are you will not even realize that the camera shutter is basically clicking so that's the side effect but you take a call on that uh, in my case i just keep it on no issues and then network sent to smartphone yes i configure my camera and the smartphone using the sony mobile edge application so that in the field i find something good i want to share it immediately on social media for my instagram story i copy it and do it so go into this this is set uh, a step by step guide on how to basically configure it and go through those steps okay rest everything keep it to the default network 2 everything is default network 3 is default we will not use any of these functions 
Playback as it says is more to do with uh, the settings of the camera after you have captured the image. Nothing specific for wildlife photography. So this is again purely dependent on how you plan to use this ratings in the field to clear the images, filter out the images. So that is something what you are comfortable with uh, you are doing. So in my case like I generally use the protect to make sure like on the fly whatever images are like I protect it and then delete all the rest of the images. So playback 2 keep everything default, playback 3 everything default of course as I said the image index default is 9 images leave it to that. And uh, yes display as group also you can keep it on uh, because in case of wildlife action photography then you want to make sure you see those images as one set of group of images rather than all those individual images. Playback 4 keep it to the default. Finally the setup for wildlife photography monitor brightness uh, keep it to the default. Uh, there are situations where uh, I keep changing it to the sunny weather because the monitor display it becomes like very uh, because of the ambient bright light the monitor display goes down and if I have to check the sharpness composition of the image when I do a playback and check the overall ambient light if it is very bright I cannot see the monitor properly. So in those situations I increase the brightness of the monitor to sunny weather otherwise go with the default. Of course uh, another workaround for that is when you do a playback you can look through the viewfinder and then basically see the playback image but screen is always better. And the last one delete confirmation make sure the cancel first is enabled so that like you accidentally do not delete off the image. Setup 2 display quality and uh, the power save start time I keep it to 10 seconds for my camera rest everything is default. Setup 3 everything default of the camera no need to change. Setup 4 also the same thing setup 5 also the same thing except the copyright. I would recommend and expect that you set the copyright information one time when you start using the camera which is applicable to all the images irrespective of wildlife or whatever. And the setup 6 again everything go with the default. Of course when I say go with the default these are no settings specific to wildlife photography. So file settings the way you want to set the file name this is again a one time setup what you will do at the initial part. So that's pretty much it. Of course the my menu setting is there where all the frequently accessed menu items you can store it. I've already explained it as a part of the menu setup guide. And of course there are multiple ways. One is the my menu setting, custom function button, the custom buttons and then even the function button. So these are the ways, the shortcut what you can use to go and quickly access the frequently used menu items. So that's pretty much it the various settings when it comes to wildlife photography. So of course autofocus kind of autofocus area mode what you use these are some of the key things for wildlife photography and good luck with that.